So I've decided to use a circle for my shape. So my next decision is do I want it to cover the entire bird? And can I even do that given, given like how much space I have outside of it? And I could, I could cover the whole bird and have the circle go outside the frame. That's absolutely fine and it'd be great. Um, but I don't think I wanna do that. So I think I'm gonna have a circle I'm gonna use two circles, which is, again, my another decision is how many shapes do I want to use? So I'm gonna have a circle cover the head and then a circle cover the body, but the tail will go out. But I wanna practice that. I think that's what I wanna do anyway. So I'm gonna practice it on my copy. Um, we have a stencil like this that I can use for this guy, but it's not gonna be big enough for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that stencil um, for this and I've already kind of thought this through so um, this is part of that decision-making process in art that is it's so um, it's kind of like a science project you know you have to experiment explore test things out so I'm using a darker pencil so I can see it really well um, and I've got the circle around the head and so now I'm gonna use this compass. We do have the other compasses, these guys, but I don't really like them. This compass is so slick. Um, so what you do is you just put this little brass dot wherever um, you want the center of your circle to be, and then you just hold your finger there and swivel it around. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I just need to measure. So I just paused the video so that I could measure where I need to be. So give yourself time. And now I'm going to do my second circle so that it kind of lines up with the top of my first circle. And I'm doing this one lighter because I'm going to make this a dashed line. And I'm going to show you one more time how I did that. I just put my circle in the dot that I wanted and then um, went around. And now I'm kind of enhancing that dash. And I can do this without the compass. And you probably can't see it very well because it's on top of a copy. Um, notice that my second circle goes right outside my picture frame. That's totally fine. Um, so the next thing I want to think about is, number one, do I want to add more shapes? Or number two, do I want to have an intersecting line? I kind of played with the concept of an intersecting line on here. And I really like it, but I almost think it's going to be a little bit too trendy. And I want this look to be a little bit more timeless. So I don't think I'm going to do an intersecting line. So my next step is to get brave and transfer that shape onto here in a light pencil. Okay, I did the circle around the head and now it's taken me a lot of experimenting um, to figure out where I want this next circle and the size and all of that, but I think I got it. Um, I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of erasing because I did some test circles that are a little lighter. I don't know if you can see them, but I have like a light test circle, um, which maybe I do like, I think I, I actually like three circles. I am gonna play with that. Um, so that was kind of a, a good happy mistake in art. So I'm gonna actually play around with a third circle centered between the other two. Um, let's see how it looks. I did the, the middle circle. I like the look. I think I'm going to make this middle circle a dashed line. Um, dashed lines on circles are a little more challenging because you don't, you can't really use the ruler um, for exact spacing. So you have to just be accurate with eyeballing. Um, I'm not being very precise and accurate yet, but when I go to ink it, I will. Um, so now the last thing I need to think about when it comes to this circle is, am I going to change my technique from one circle to the next? Do these circles mean anything when I go to like paint it? Do I want to do one color here, a different color harmony here and a different one here? Or are they just circles that intersect? So, um, you don't need to think about color yet. Um, you, instead you want to think about your technique. So um, what, what are you going to do with technique in each circle? I think I'm going to keep my technique the same throughout all three circles, but I will take a moment to kind of explore those different options and think about it. So I've thought about it and I am going to keep my inking technique exactly the same throughout the bird. So I'm going to use this hairy hatching, the short quick marks the contour with the 
fur. And then um, I'm gonna do, with my painting, I'm gonna paint the positive space here, the negative space around the bird here, positive space here, and then negative space here. So you don't need to think about your painting yet, but for me, it just kind of helps to um, explore all my possibilities for different outcomes before I make any um, major decisions.